Hey, are you thinking about moving to Seattle, Washington, maybe Bellevue, Washington? Well, in today's video, we're gonna jump into my computer so that you can get to know Bellevue. Where are the lakes? Where are the mountains? What are the freeways that are gonna help get you around? Where are the schools? Where are good places to eat, places to be with your family around town, just things like that. So if that sounds of interest to you, let's get after it. Hey, if this is your first time to my channel and you wanna know about moving to Seattle or the area around it, like Bellevue, then subscribe to my channel and tap that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Seattle, Washington. Hi, I'm Kelsey Anderson, and we get contacted all the time from people just like you looking to make their move to and around Seattle, and we love it. So whether you're looking to move in seven days or 70, contact me using the information in the description below and so we can help you make that smooth move to seattle now let's get after it like i said we're going to be jumping into my computer today so that you can really see uh what is around bellevue washington in case you don't know all right so here we are in my computer um and the first thing i want to tell you is that um, bellevue is you can see on this map directly east of seattle so if seattle Right here, all you need to do is hop on either 520 or I-90 to get to Bellevue. Now, in most of those cases, you are gonna be taking I-5 to get to I-90. So I-5 is the big interstate freeway that runs north to south in Washington, really down the whole west coast um, of the United States. Um, but this freeway runs right through downtown Seattle. And if you hop, North on I-5, um, you'll hit 520. Um, now, one thing about taking 520 to get to Bellevue is you will be encountering a little bit of a toll. So dollar, dollar bill signs, y'all, because it's going to cost a little bit of money. Um, if you get a toll pass, then it's going to be a little bit cheaper every time you cross that road. Sometimes businesses honor that. Um, but that is something to keep in mind, uh, maybe when you're finding a place to live or just talking to your company about that. I-90 down here is going to be free um, to cross, at least it is right now. Um, you guys, this is the prettiest, I would say this is the prettiest drive. Um, both of those freeways, you are um, just driving over beautiful water. You're seeing boats nearby. Um, you're seeing sometimes planes going overhead. You can see the mountains in the distance, um, either the Cascades over to the east, um, or you're seeing the Olympic Mountains over in the west. And it is seriously a stunning drive. You kind of forget that you're, you know, on the highway driving somewhere. So that is where Bellevue is. Again, it's just about 10 miles away from Seattle. So it's just 10 miles away, which is really awesome. The next thing I want to share with you is the population of Bellevue. Now, this is a suburb of the main city, Seattle, but it is a pretty major suburb. Um, it covers 32 square miles okay, and it has a population of 150,000. So, pretty big suburb, lots of people, um, and the suburb is just growing tremendously. There are more jobs going in downtown, more skyscrapers, more apartments and condos being built. Um, there's over 3 million square feet of office building being added to downtown. It's currently under construction, so this place is growing. The median home price is $1.3 million. Lots of homes are actually on the market well over that. Um, there are some smaller homes that are going to be at that lower price point, below $1 million, lower price point, still really high cost of living and um, high cost of home ownership here in Bellevue. Um, but something to consider when thinking about moving to Bellevue is prices are pretty darn high. Um, we're going to get into some of the neighborhoods a little bit later in this video so that you can learn uh, where are some of the more sort of budget friendly neighborhoods. Can't even say that when I'm talking about Bellevue because none of them are really budget friendly, but some are more expensive and some are less expensive. I'll put it that way. Um, the next thing is 
Uh, Bellevue is sandwiched between two lakes. Um, this really adds to the appeal of Bellevue. That's why there's so many jobs here and people love living here. It is a higher standard of living in Bellevue because you've got water, you've got mountains, you've got green, lush scenery all around you. So if you look over here, we've got Lake Washington on the west shores of Bellevue, and you've got beautiful Lake Sammamish on the east shores of Bellevue. Um, this can be seen when you're looking um, sort of an aerial view of Bellevue. You just see these lakes, you see greenery. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, I'm going to zoom out here so that you can see a few other towns that are nearby Bellevue just to kind of get you situated with the area. So directly north of Bellevue, you've got Fancy Pants City of Kirkland. I say fancy pants because it is also on the water that's on the north side of Lake Washington and it is stunningly beautiful with some really higher price point homes as well um, and then Redmond as well. Um, those two towns are directly north. Those towns are great. They've got golf courses. They've got lots of shopping, um, definitely lots of wonderful restaurants, things like that. So very desirable uh, neighborhoods just north of Bellevue. Now, if we're looking to the east side, we've got Issaquah and um, Sammamish. So those are two towns. Sammamish is right directly east of Lake Sammamish. And then Issaquah sort of on the southeast part of the lake. Um, so if you just continue down 90, 90 runs. We talked about running this from Seattle, going uh, going east. And that's going to take you through Issaquah. Um, Issaquah is great because there are all these hikes and beautiful parks um, and lakes just right there. Um, and so they actually call it the Issaquah Alps. Um, and that is like Squawk Mountain, um, Tiger Mountain, things like that. So even within a 15, 20 minute drive, you've got really awesome hiking um, if you're into that. And then if you just continue down I-90, uh, you'll also hit those larger mountains um, like Snoqualmie Mountain or Crystal Mountain is out east. Um, and that's for some more serious skiing. You can float the river at Snoqualmie, things like that. All that fun is within a 30 to 45 minute drive just going east from Bellevue. So it's pretty centrally located. If you're thinking about Seattle just being 10 miles to the west um, and then it being just 30 minutes from the mountains on the east side. So lots of fun stuff to do right around Bellevue. Now the towns directly south of Bellevue are going to be Newcastle and then Renton. So Renton is just south of Newcastle. Um, you can check out my videos on Renton coming soon um, to get a better idea of Renton um, as it compares to Bellevue. And then as far as uh, towns going to the west, of course, we just have Seattle and then we have this um, upscale island living Mercer Island. So there you have it. Those are all the towns around Bellevue. Now, some of you might be wondering, where is the airport? Well, let me tell you, there are actually two airports now that are super easy to get to from Bellevue. Um, one is going to be south and one is going to be north. I've flown out of both and I mean, they're both pretty awesome. One's really small. So one's up in Everett. It's called Payne Field. Um, and if you go north on 405, you'll connect to I-5 and then getting up to Everett. So this is about 40 minutes away to get to Payne Field. And then if you go south, let me zoom out for a second. You will see SeaTac. It's all the way down here. So coming down 405, it drops you off right at SeaTac Airport. That's looking about 25 minutes from Bellevue. So about 40 minutes north to Payne Field, about 25 minutes southwest to SeaTac. You've got airports pretty close by. Um, if you are someone that travels for work, I don't think those times are going to be an outrageous deal breaker. Um, but there are towns that are definitely closer to the airport, 10, 15 minutes. So you will want to take that into consideration if you have to travel by plane for work frequently. All right. So I want to now dive into some of the um, highlights around Bellevue as far as malls and beaches and restaurants and high schools and things like that. 
So, so the downtown area of Bellevue is located right to the west of 405. And it kind of gets close to the water here. So right there, that is where downtown Bellevue is. Um, you see on this map, the Bellevue Arts Museum. That's right here. Um, right this area too is going to be your the big malls. So um, Bellevue Place, Lincoln Square, North and South, um, and then Bellevue Square Mall as well. So tons of restaurants down there. Um, anything you could imagine eating. Um, Chinese, Vietnamese, uh, Japanese, American food, what have you. Everything is down there from your um, kind of family restaurants like Cheesecake Factory up to your more upscale restaurants like P.F. Chang's, Daniel's Broiler, Joey's, things like that. So lots of options um, in that downtown Bellevue area. There are also really great restaurants in crossroads they've got their own little food court um that has i swear to goodness every type of food you could possibly manage imagine from all parts of the country um i've talked about in my other videos how diverse bellevue is um it's extremely diver diverse community and that is reflected in the food that's all over town but especially crossroads mall um, has what you need. Whatever it is you need, it'll be there. Um, another place that you're going to find lots of great restaurants is on the southern end in Factoria. So if you come down, I'm a little bit zoomed in on my map here, but down here where it says Factoria, um, there are also tons of restaurants down there. So those are the kind of the hubs. Um, of course, there's more strip malls and restaurants sort of spread throughout the city, but that's going to be sort of um, where your restaurants are grouped. Um, Another one is where Old Main is. So I want to show you on the map here. Old Main is like historic Bellevue. It's right there. It's close to uh, Bellevue uh, Downtown Park um, and lots of amazing restaurants. I love 520 Bar and Grill. Um, just some really great place you can eat outside you can eat inside kind of kind of nice for this area to have outside dining you don't always have restaurants like that if you are someone that likes the beach because you want to go canoeing or kayaking or you want to rent a paddleboard or you want to swim in the lake or your kids want to swim in the lake Bellevue's got a lot of beach parks um, I'm just going to show you a couple of them but they are literally everywhere on West Lake Sammamish Parkway you've got Vassa Park, somewhere over in this vicinity, um, Maidenbower Park, okay, Medina has a beach, um, Idlewood Park is over here, it's actually technically in Redmond, but it's right outside of Bellevue, um, and lots of other small beach parks, there's definitely in Newport Shores, um, lots of beach parks that are public, some you have to pay a small fee, but most of them are totally free, um, and you can rent fun stuff to play with on the water. And that's pretty cool. Two other spots that are worth mentioning in Bellevue um, is you'll see right here in the middle of the map, Kelsey Creek Park. There's a little farm there for the kids. Also walking trails, things like that. Kind of a cool part in the middle of the city. Um, and it's really close to, and you can sort of walk to Botanical Gardens from there, which is also in this central Bellevue region. Um, they've got a really cool lights festival um, around the holidays and just a really beautiful place to see uh, trees and flowers and things of that nature. So really cool there. And that about sums up some of the highlighted places. Um, I'm now going to jump into where the schools are located and some of the main neighborhoods. Right. So the um, high schools in Bellevue or sort of spread out. I'm actually going to show you a map where they are. Bellevue has a rating for Bellevue School District as an A plus. So high ratings across the board from academics to teachers to diversity. Um, there's just a high standard of education in Bellevue, just like a high standard of living in general. Um, the education system in Bellevue does not disappoint. There are four main high schools with a couple additional high schools that are for um, alternative programs and then also international school, which is um, a, one that you have to get in by drawing. Um, it's not just public for everyone, but Lots of options for kids starting in middle school through high school. 
There's lots of those um, different options. We're going to jump into a new map that shows those different high schools so I can give you an idea about where the high schools are located. So up in the northeast part of Bellevue, you've got Inner Lake High School. That school is right here. This school is known for its IB program, which is for those advanced learners that moved through Bellevue. Another high school is Sammamish High School that's located right here. This school is awesome. Um, this um, They have tons of kids that actually take AP courses. So it's not the highest performing school of all four W high schools, um, but they do have the most kids taking AP courses. So I think that's pretty cool. Bellevue High School is the high school right here. Sort of kids on the west side of 405 and sort of the northwest side northwest uh, neighborhoods like Clyde Hill and Medina all feed into Bellevue High School. Uh, they're really known for their sports. Um, and then the south side here we've got the fourth the fourth main um, high school in Bellevue and it's called Newport High School. It's actually under construction right now um, but they're all four beautiful schools. They've all been reconstructed literally millions of dollars in renovation um, for each building and they all look absolutely stunning. Um, there are additionally um, five main middle schools that are spread out that feed into these four main high schools. Um, like I said, international and big picture, those are um, both high schools and middle schools. And then 17 other elementary schools sort of scattered throughout, um, and that combines public and private schools. Now I'm gonna take you into the other map again. All right, to wrap up this video, I just kind of wanna give you an idea of the different neighborhoods. I'm not gonna go through them all, I'll do that in a different video, but I just wanna kind of give you an idea of where these neighborhoods are um, in case you have come across them looking at homes or just through conversations with friends that you know in Bellevue. So Clyde Hill, and Medina um, are areas over by Lake Washington. Um, those are definitely more higher priced homes because of its proximity, not only to 520 getting over to Seattle, it's really easy to get there, but it's also close to the lake. And a lot of these homes um, are on a hill and have really great views of the lake. So those are um, more higher priced neighborhoods. Another big neighborhood in Bellevue is the Crossroads area. Um, that is sort of, um, it's not on a hill, it's a little bit more flat. So the prices of the homes um, and apartments nearby are a little bit um, more friendly priced. And then on to other hills, which again, if you're on a hill or if you're on water in Bellevue, the price tag of the home is definitely gonna ramp up for obvious reasons. Um, so you've got a Newport Hill, which is right down here. And then you've got Eastgate and Somerset Hill over here in this sort of Southeast part. So those are some of the major neighborhoods uh, that you might hear about um, when you're thinking about moving to Bellevue. There's certainly other neighborhoods, but like I said, those are some of the main ones. Um, and again, because they are on a hill and they typically have better views, um, it might come with a little bit of a higher price tag. I hope this video was of value to you and gave you a better idea about how Bellevue, Washington is laid out and some really cool spots in the city. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Seattle. I hope to see you around town. Bye.